All right, welcome back to the uh, BamaInsider.com YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Andrew Bone. Uh, big, uh, big commitment this evening for uh, for the Crimson Tide. Uh, Braylon Ingram. He's a uh, right now a three-star defensive end out of St. Thomas Aquinas uh, down in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, six foot three and a half, 280 pounds. I know some uh, some people had him listed two in the 250, 260 uh, range. I don't think a lot of people uh, have updated that since um, probably since last year. Um, he measured in at about six foot three, 280, six foot three and a half, 285 pounds, 280 pounds at Alabama uh, just a few weeks ago. So he's gotten bigger. Uh, he missed most of his junior season. Had a shoulder injury the first game of his junior season sidelined him the whole year. So not, not a lot of people knew about him. You know, everybody uh, kind of, you know, waits to see kids blow up as, uh, as during their junior year. And he, you hear all about these kids and, you know, they go to camps uh, during the spring. So, you know, all about these, uh, these top end players. Well, some of these kids, you know, they, you know, especially the ones that get hurt and miss all that, you know, they don't get known about until uh, until their senior season. And uh, Braylon Ingram was one of those kids who, um, you know, was on Alabama's radar for a long time, visited Alabama during the spring. Uh, he, I think he was at the spring game. Uh, then he came back to Tuscaloosa uh, for the uh, for the cookout in uh, in June. So Alabama was very aware of him, and, and have, they've been recruiting him for a very long time. Uh, Coach Kulikowski has been recruiting him, Coach Joe Panunzio. So uh, so shout out to those two guys for uh, you know their relationships with him that have, it really kind of helped them land this kid out of Miami, uh, Fort Lauderdale area. A lot of people thought he was going to Miami. I uh, was a big Miami fan growing up. A lot of, a lot of pressure to go there. And, uh, you know, they certainly heavily recruited him. He wasn't one of those kids that, uh, Alabama got because, uh, somebody else didn't want him out in Miami. Wanted this kid really bad. And, uh, and in the end, he ends up committing to Alabama. Now, what does Alabama get in this kid? He's, you know, like I said, he's six foot three and a half, 280 pounds, Listed as a defensive end, but you know probably going to be more of a defensive tackle once he gets into Alabama's system and um, you know gets in the strength and conditioning program with uh, Coach Cochran, uh, develops his body. But uh, but man, you watch his senior film. I mean, it is very impressive, and uh, I don't think he's going to be a three star for very long. I think with his his senior film coming out, and <laughs> sure everybody's going to be like. Oh well, you know it's the Bama bump. A kid commits to Alabama, he automatically gets uh, gets bumped up in the rankings. Now that's not necessarily the case. Um, and obviously, I'm not the one who ranks those kids uh, in, in South Florida um, or in the state of Florida at all. So you know, guys like Rob Cassidy, Mike Farrell, they're going to be ranking him. But you know what? They haven't really had a lot to go off of over the last year. Like I said, missed his entire junior season. Didn't go to really any camps during the spring. So all they've really been able to see so far is, uh, is his senior film. And, God, his senior film is very, very impressive if you go on there and watch it. Uh, we have the link on there on our uh, on BamaInsider.com uh, to his huddle account. Uh, very impressive senior season so far. But uh, but really like him a lot. Very quick, uh, very strong. And uh, you know, just to, this just adds to the defensive line class. I mean, Alabama's defensive line class, um, you know, certainly could be – the best in the country. If you look at it from top to bottom, I mean, some very impressive football players. Uh, you now have Braylon Ingram, uh, Byron Young, uh, Justin Iboji, uh, of course, Antonio Alfano, uh, DJ Dell. I think it's a tremendous defensive line class. Um, a lot of people ask me, well, since Alabama has all these defensive line commitments, they have five defensive line commitments now, what does this mean? Does this mean that Alabama is finished at the position? Will they get one, maybe two more guys? Um, you know, you can never have enough quality defensive linemen. I think Alabama missed on some guys last year. Um, you know, if people remember correctly, Bobby Brown had, uh, had flipped basically from A&M to Alabama and then on signing day announced for a and M, uh, you know, flip back to A and M. Uh, they missed on Malik Langham, an in-state kid last year who ends up uh, committing to Florida instead. So, you know, the Alabama really needed to have a very strong defensive line class this year. So I think they're really excited about what they've got right now. But they're still going after some top guys. Um, you know, Ismail Sopshir was on campus last weekend. Big five-star defensive tackle out of Amet High School in Louisiana. Now he's not going to decide anytime soon. He's going to wait. 
all the way until National Signing Day in February. He's not going to be doing the uh, the early announcement in, in December. He's going to be waiting until uh, until February. So you know, we'll be keeping an eye on him because it's a dog race right now between uh, Alabama and LSU. Very, very tight battle uh, between those two programs. And I know a lot of people say, well, Alabama's leading this day, you know, then LSU's leading the next I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's very close. Um, you know, people I talk to think that it's an you know, LSU's probably ahead, but, uh, you know, a long way to go there. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, there's still some other big games that are out there. Jacques Sorrell's a four-star defensive tackle out of uh, Largo High School in Florida. Uh, we're going to see some other guys on campus throughout the year. Uh, Siaki Akea uh, out of Utah is going to be making an official visit. Uh, I think for the Iron Bowl, um, if, if not, he may wait until after the season. Uh, Ty Robinson out of Arizona. Uh, we'll also see him on campus. And obviously there's still some kids who are committed elsewhere. They're still taking visits to Alabama. Nathan Pickering, the Mississippi State commitment. Uh, Jaron Handy, who's committed to Auburn, still being recruited by Alabama. Um, you know, DeMarvin Lill, uh, Texas A&M commitment. Alabama's still very high on him. Uh, but he hasn't really had – I don't know if he's had a lot of communication. He just hasn't said a lot via Twitter. You know, you know we always kind of – you know, see what kids say on Twitter about certain schools uh, when they're committed elsewhere. And he hasn't really said anything except for uh, a lot of positive stuff about A&M. So I'm not sure if he's going to make a trip back to Tuscaloosa, but, uh, you know, we'll keep an eye on that. But overall, tremendous defensive line class so far for Alabama. Uh, like I said, I think uh, Braylon Ingram, uh, great pickup. Uh, I, I do think his uh, his ranking is going to improve just because, like I said, he didn't play at all his junior season, senior film, excellent. And uh, so we'll see what happens there. Um, I will take just uh, one or two questions here um, before I get off. I just wanted to uh, to come on here real quick and and talk about the uh, the new commitment for Alabama. Uh, is Henry Tolatola joining the Tide next year? Uh, I actually just put in my uh, my rivals forecast. Um, so if you go on Rivals, uh, you'll see our new uh, fan forecast, Rivals forecast, just predictions on uh, on certain kids. So if you're a subscriber, go on there. You can make your own prediction. Uh, yeah, as of right now, I'm predicting Henry Tolatola to Alabama. He hasn't made a decision yet. I'm not sure exactly when he's going to make that decision, but I do think that Alabama is in the driver's seat at this time. And let's see, Alabama heavily recruiting the defensive line. Do you think we can still Bogle from South Florida also? Uh, Chris Bogle, uh, Rivals 100 defensive end, um, kind of a more so of an edge rusher. He's very fast, very quick. He's going to be taking his official visit to Alabama for the Iron Bowl. Uh, you know, Alabama really would love to get uh, an elite edge rusher in this class. And you know, some of the best edge rushers, probably the top three edge rushers in the entire country, uh, you have to look at Kayvon Thibodeau out of California, uh, Nolan Smith at IMG Academy, and Chris Bogle out of South Florida. I mean, these are two just – or th excuse me, three incredible pass rushers uh, that Alabama has been recruiting for a very long time. Uh, yeah, I think Alabama's got a chance with Chris Bogle. Um, you know, I think uh, he's certainly a guy that they would love to add. So uh, we're certainly going to keep an eye on him and see how his visit uh, for the Iron Bowl goes. Um, I'll take just a couple more questions. Uh, is it true that Evan Neal is leaning towards Alabama? Uh, I've been saying for a while on Bama Insider, uh, for those that are not subscribers to Bama Insider, you know, definitely check us out. Join us for a 30 day free trial. If you don't like us, you know, go somewhere else. But, uh, but I, I think you'll like us enough to, uh, to stick around. But yeah, I've been saying on Bama Insider for a while, probably since the summer that I felt like Alabama was, uh, you know, repositioning themselves in the lead for Evan Neal. Uh, I think, um, one of Alabama's coaches will be down to see him later on this week. He and um, and Trey Sanders, the five-star running back that Alabama, also a former Alabama commitment. So I think Alabama's got a good chance to uh, possibly possibly get both of those guys, guys back in this year's recruiting class. Uh, how many more commitments can Alabama take? Uh, Alabama, uh, you may look at a commitment the commitment board and see – 22 commitments. Now, I, I technically think that it's really like 21. Um, I just think one of those guys is probably going to end up elsewhere. Um, uh, Rashad Cheney just hasn't visited Alabama. has been taking other visits, hasn't really been talking to Alabama. He's one of the defensive line commitments. So I don't really think he's going to stick with the class. So really think it's really at about 21 commitments right now. Um, we'll just have to wait and see who else wants to join the class because – 
I think, you know, we could possibly see some uh, gray shirts or blue shirts or anything like that kind of uh, come into place. Uh, but I think maybe probably about seven or eight more guys. Um, I don't know how they're only going to get seven, or eight more guys because there's so many guys that we keep on talking about so many guys that they like, so many guys that they want, uh, and a lot of really good options. So we'll see how things go. Um, I've always told our subscribers on Bama Insider and I've always told, uh, anybody and, and I've always, and I've also always been told this, um, you know, by people that I talk to, don't worry about the numbers. Just don't ever worry about the numbers that Alabama is going to try to get, go after and get the best available players. And once they can get no more, they'll cut it off. So uh, when that time comes, I'll be sure to let everybody know that you know, Alabama is done or they're only going to get one more guy. But, you know, they're trying to fit, you know, these elite players in the class. So we'll see exactly how it goes. But you know, still, you know, in my opinion, probably about seven or eight more guys. Um and we'll just see if, you know, maybe the numbers change or, you know, maybe somebody decides to look elsewhere. But uh, but certainly believe that Alabama's got a great chance to uh, close extremely strong and get some really good players uh, over the course of the next few months. Um, quick question here. Have you heard any new on junior college defensive tackle targets? Uh, no, not at this time. Haven't heard anything regarding defensive tackle targets in the junior college ranks. Um, have any in-state guys been moving up the board? Uh, not, not really. I mean, Alabama is still kind of going after the same in-state guys. Um, George Pickens, Clay Webb. I know that there's some other names that are floating out there. Uh, they're kind of waiting to see, uh, what happens with Alabama's re recruiting class. Uh, you know, like DJ James, uh, cornerback at a Spanish fort committed to Mississippi state. Um, you know, those guys are all kind of on hold right now to see what happens with some other guys, but I think the only two realistic options for Alabama, um, the guys that are not committed yet in state wise are Clay Webb and, and George Pickens. Um, is Bama in it for Dent? Is he more of a safety than a corner? Uh, I think he could play either one. I saw him at the rivals five-star challenge, uh, back during the summer. I mean, he, he was really good there. I mean, I, I've heard, you know, mixed reviews from, from, from different people, but, um, I thought he was really good when I saw him down there playing corner. Um, and then he's had a really good senior season. He's got some great senior film. Um, so I think Alabama's in it. Uh, there's a lot of defense back. So probably only about, you know, I would say one, maybe two spots Two two's really pushing it. I think Alabama may have to lose a, a commitment. Now, they don't want to lose any commitments, but if they lost a commitment, maybe get two. I just think it's going to be tough getting two more guys in just because of the overall numbers. And you still have Marcus Banks, who just decommitted from LSU, very high on Alabama. Noah Pola Gates, very high on Alabama. Um, you know, some other guys that are committed elsewhere that they're still trying to bring in for uh, for visits. So uh, we'll keep an eye there. But And I, and I do think Alabama's in it for Dent. Um, you know, he's committed to Florida State, but he's always ha had some some strong interest in Alabama. Recently came out and said he, that he's going to take officials to Alabama and Miami. So, um, you know, I definitely think that Alabama's in it for him. Um, all right, more questions than I thought I was going to answer tonight. I was really just coming on here just to talk about the um, – talk about the new commitment, but I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. I'm going to answer uh, your questions this evening. Uh, what about, what about Wondell Robinson? Uh, right now, I, I think Wondell is probably going to go elsewhere. Um, I've said this for a while. I think the numbers just don't really play to his advantage. And I'm not saying Alabama wouldn't take him. I think Alabama is just trying to get one more true wide receiver. And I think they really have their eyes set on George Pickens. Uh, I think that would take him as an athlete, just – haven't really decided what position he would play if he comes to Alabama. So that's why I think that he's probably going to end up elsewhere. Uh, Nebraska's in it for him, Ohio State, Kentucky. I'd kind of watch it for those schools to uh, see what he ends up doing. Um, Kayvon, basically an Oregon lock. Kayvon Thibodeau, uh, five-star defensive man. I wouldn't say that. After each trip, Kayvon Thibodeau comes back from almost every trip says that that school's very high on his list and just gives just glowing reviews about that program. So I just kind of wait, uh, let him step back, take the rest of his visits, have his in-home visits. Um, he's going to announce, I think, on December the 15th. I think that's when he announced he's going to do his decision. So just kind of wait and sit back and see what happens with him. Uh, but Alabama's still very much in the picture uh, with him. Um 
Let's see. I'm going to take a couple more questions. When will Sorrells commit? Jack West Sorrells do not have a decision date on him just yet. Four-star defensive lineman out of Florida. Um, la, 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 la. Is Jordan Battle better than Noah Paula Gates? Um, you know, tough question. Um, I think he, both of them are very high on Alabama's recruiting board. Um, I've heard for, for a very long time that Alabama just absolutely loves both of those guys. Now, let's say a guy like Marcus Banks decides to commit. Then Alabama's got some tough decisions to make whether or not they're going to take one or, you know, probably if one or none, um, you know, if they get Marcus Banks or somebody else. Um, but I think they like Jordan Battle a lot. Uh, and they like Noah Pola Gates. I think the only problem with Noah Pola Gates is he wants to wait until mid-January to commit. Um, I don't know if a spot's still going to be available, but he is supposed to be in Tuscaloosa for the Iron Bowl. So we'll keep an eye on that, see if he possibly uh, goes ahead and uh, commits during that trip. Uh, Henry Tolatola or Nicobe Dean, who does Bama take? I just, uh, you know, I just, for some reason right now, I'm thinking Henry Tolatola may be in the, in the uh, and I'm not saying Alabama would take one or the other. I think Alabama's got a big pressing need for inside linebackers. They would likely take both of those guys. I just think for some reason, Henry Tolatola, even though he's a West Coast guy, I think Alabama's got a better shot to land him right now. And I say that just because he's yet to take his official visit to Alabama. Uh, Nicobe Dean has. Um, Nicobe Dean, very high on Florida State, Georgia, LSU, and he's still taking uh, trips to all those places. Now, we'll probably see Nicobe Dean back in Tuscaloosa at some point this season. But uh, if I had to give the edge to one of those guys, I'd say Tola Tola. But I think Alabama does have a shot with, uh, with both of those guys. Uh, Nolan Smith Phil, uh, I think he ends up sticking with Georgia, but he will take an official to Alabama for the uh, for the Iron Bowl. Uh, who is the next to commit? Do not know. And we've been waiting a while for this this one commitment here. Um, I think it's been since the summer since Alabama had a commitment. So uh, yeah, I mean they just got their first commitment in a while, so they're pretty excited. Um, Obviously, numbers are extremely tight right now, so uh, you just you don't expect a wave of commitments. You kind of uh, and you don't really see a lot of commitments happen during the season. You usually see them right before the season happens, or during the summer, or you know right after the season when kids start taking their official visits. And then obviously uh, that early signing period, we start see we see a you know a big uh, big group of kids. Uh, decide to commit right before then. So um, I'm not really seeing anything happening until probably December. Now we may see something happen maybe after the Iron Bowl weekend. Uh, but as of right now, I think things are, uh, I think things are pretty much on hold. Now I have heard a, uh, I have heard a rumor that uh, Evan Neal, the five-star offensive tackle from IMG Academy might commit uh, at some point um, in the near future, but you never know. Um, you know, I've, I've heard that with Trey Sanders since, since about um, June, so uh, that never happened. Uh, he he's still uh, he's still waiting. So uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, but obviously we'll we'll keep everybody pretty up to date on Bama Insider. Or if you do subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, you know you guys know that I come on here just about once a week. Uh, give you guys an update on what's going on. So uh, so we will obviously update people whenever we um, whenever we learn something. Uh, let's see. He bows you all about some Bama on Twitter. Is he still solid, or do you think he flips? I, I actually think he's solid. Um, well, I say solid. I think he is going to take some official visits. He has taken a few trips. Uh, he's got a lot of schools coming after him, but it seems like every time um, you know Alabama does something well on the football field, or you know something goes on, you know, like you said, very pro Alabama on Twitter. He seems like he's pretty solid. Alabama's certainly not trying to push him away. Um, Will some other schools possibly use Alabama's defensive line numbers in this class to uh, to try to steer him to come to their school? Maybe, but um, yeah, as of right now, I think he ends up sticking. Um, anything new on Sopcher? I uh, talked a little bit about Sopcher earlier. Uh, you know, he, he spoke uh, very highly of his trip to Tuscaloosa, um, you know, last weekend. Um, so nothing really, you know, no, nothing really changed. I mean, it's still a top two Alabama LSU. Uh, he'll be down in Baton Rouge for the uh, for the Alabama game next weekend, and then um, you know I would imagine you know, Alabama uh, coaches this week. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a complete update probably on 
uh, probably on Friday morning. Uh, so you guys come back to the YouTube channel on Friday morning. I'm going to let you guys know where all Alabama coaches are going to be this week. I I wouldn't be surprised if we see one of the coaches at, at Sopcher's High School this week because they're going to be going, uh, seeing all their top-tier targets. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, let's see. Is Bama not recruiting Devontae Lee? Um, you know, they're recruiting him, but – not necessarily in terms of, you know, he's probably not a guy who could call up and say, hey, I'm ready to commit right now. Uh, Alabama's still trying to figure out what position he'll play. I mean, he works at wide receiver. You know, it seemed like a year ago he was like one of those kids that Alabama was definitely going to take as a wide receiver. And then I remember seeing him this summer and said, you know, that kid, that guy's definitely a linebacker uh, at the next level. Just a big kid. So I, I don't – as of right now, I don't see him in Alabama's class. Um, and I don't think that's going to affect uh, Sopshire at all, but uh, but we'll see. Uh, Darnell Wright, uh, five-star offensive tackle. Darnell Wright out of West Virginia remains major target for Alabama. He's going to be one of those guys that Alabama sees on Friday. Uh, we'll see him in Tuscaloosa, uh, most likely for the Iron Bowl. Uh, he's not going to make a decision until de- – uh, not December, excuse me. He'll make a decision in February. Uh, he plans on waiting all the way until the end. Um, and as of right now, looking like he'll probably do an Alabama official in late January. Uh, I still like Alabama's chances with him. I think Alabama's uh, in real good position, despite a lot of lot of uh, you know a lot of talk about Tennessee um, with him, just because of his um, distance from home. Uh, he's got a lot of there's a lot of Tennessee fans in his community, but in my opinion, I think Alabama's is in the driver's seat as of right now. Uh, chances on Pickens with Auburn's offensive struggles. Uh, yeah, I think Alabama's got a real good chance with Pickens. Um, didn't think so probably six months ago, but um, I, I think the chances have improved, and I think Alabama's got a real good shot to uh, to get him. Uh, let's see. How was the new running backs coach doing in recruiting? Well, it's, it's Joe Panunzio. I mean, Joe's a, obviously a, a well-known, well-established recruiter, and um, and he just got a big one uh, tonight in um, in Braylon Ingram. Let's see here. Look and see. Maybe one or two more questions, and I'm out of here, guys. Sorry, I'm just uh, – like I said, was just coming in here real quick this evening to uh, talk about the new commitment. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, Braylon Ingram, uh, three-star defensive end, who I expect will move up to four stars uh, out of St. Thomas Aquinas, announced his commitment this evening to Alabama over Miami and Oregon. Uh, I think it's a huge commitment in a lot of ways, uh, not only because of the defensive line help, but he does have a big teammate in Jordan Battle who's committed to Ohio State that definitely has some interest in Alabama, was at the Alabama-Louisville game, uh, expected to be back in Tuscaloosa for an official visit. So you can expect – that Braylon Ingram will be recruiting him and maybe even talking to uh, to Chris Bogle, the uh, Rivals 100 edge rusher, uh, not at um, not at the same school, but also down in Fort Lauderdale. So you can expect him, him to, uh, to try to help recruit those guys as well. All right. Uh, latest on Trey Sanders, uh, nothing really. I mean, very quiet kid, doesn't really talk much about recruiting. I mean, Alabama, most people assume is in the driver's seat. Uh, followed by Florida, where his brother goes to school, and then Texas. Um, I think he'll be at the Iron Bowl, uh, but as of right now, no plans to uh, no plans right now for an, for a uh, for an announcement. Uh, my final question here: Do I think Bama will land Chester Graves or Samuel Williams? These are two edge rushers out of the junior college ranks uh, that we've talked about a little bit. Um, Samuel, Samuel, uh, Williams is actually from, uh, from Montgomery, went to Robert E. Lee high school. Uh, the only way I think we'll see either one of those guys in Alabama's class is if Alabama misses on, um, you know, those edge rushers that they're going after, uh, Kayvon Thibodeau, Nolan Smith, uh, and Chris Bogle. Now, obviously Nolan Smith is committed to Georgia. So if Alabama misses on Chris Bogle or Kayvon Thibodeau, I would certainly watch out for uh, for possibly an offer to one of those guys because uh, I think that's a big need for Alabama in this class is getting one of those elite edge rushers. Uh, they certainly want to get one more of those guys in this year's class, and um, those are two guys that are on the radar, and uh, we'll keep a close eye on. All right, that is it, guys. Um, like Once again, go on BamaInsider.com. I have the breakdown of, uh, of Braylon Ingram's commitment, what it means, 
Um, quotes from uh, Mike Farrell, Rob Cassidy, too, of the Rivals.com, uh, national recruiting analysts, uh, giving our, our uh, subscribers uh, the latest on um, on what they think about Ingram and his potential. And um, I'm also breaking down the numbers overall on the defensive line, uh, giving some other names out there. So go on there, check us out. Thanks for coming on the YouTube channel tonight, and uh, we'll see you here in a few days. Uh, like I said, I'll probably come on on Friday morning and talk to you guys about the uh, Alabama coaches who are going to be on the road uh, visiting top kids uh, all day on Friday and Friday evening. Thanks again.